Richard Salas, and welcome back once again to Gaming Outside the Box. In this episode we will be looking at the Dark Souls 2 Collector's Edition for the PC. I realise I'm a little bit late to the party, but that's because the PC Collector's Edition was heavily delayed. And I've got to admit that left me a little annoyed watching everyone else play Dark Souls 2 while I was still waiting. But is it worth the wait? There's only really one way to find out, so follow me to my unboxing table. So here we have the box for the Dark Souls 2 Collector's Edition. And you may notice some of this box is out of frame. Some of this box is also hanging off the side of the table. This is a very, very big box. As you can see, you get all of the pre-ordered DLC. You get an art book, soundtrack. The game comes in a metal case, which is similar to the Black Armor Edition, I think it is. And you also get this map which is, unlike other maps I've had, instead of being printed on paper, this is actually a cloth map of the entire Dark Souls 2 world, so that should be pretty good. And you also get this statue, which stands at 30 centimetres of a hollow warrior. And the reason it's on its back is because, for the same reason as South Park Stick of Truth, it shows you that at the front of the box. To give you an idea of size, I will be posting pictures of the box standing up in the corner of this video. And unfortunately Jim and Steve are both packed away so we will be enlisting the services of Stanley for this. This packing plastic is unusually loose for a collector's edition. Get rid of this. Excuse me a moment while I get the first thing out of the box. Now, this is the metal tin containing the game disc. I'm not going to open it because then you'll see my CD key and you'll steal it. I don't trust you, internet. It actually feels rather nice. It's got a bit of weight to it and it's got a wonderful design on it. As you can see, you're undead here. And it continues all the way around to the back. With a wonderful, wonderful view. I don't know how well you can see that on the camera. Of what looks to me like somewhere I'm going to be going very, very soon. Next out of the box, we have the art book. And I always get a lot of uh, flack for never showing you what's in the art books, because normally I like to keep my art books sacrosanct. But in this case, I don't have to worry, because the art book's already open. So if I just zoom in a little more, which I can't do because I'm already at maximum zoom. But I will try my best to show you some of the artwork. Here we have some of the weaponry that you'll be wielding, character models, more weaponry and more character models. You can find some of the uh, landscape designs. Here we go. These are some very, very impressive pictures. And I honestly can't wait to see these actually in the game and see what they're like. Who is that guy? Okay, he looks cool. Here we see the actual map that's supplied with it. It is made of cloth and it is very, very fine. It feels great. I'm totally getting this framed because it's got a lot of interesting details on it. Like over here you've got the dragons. Even your compass looks kind of weird and creepy. Then obviously you've got markings for like the citadels and the different places in the world. And whatever this thing is, looks like some kind of sea monster. It does look very, very impressive. And as I said, I'm totally getting this framed forever. And here it is, folks. 
your Hollow Knight figurine. This thing is very, very big. I now understand why the box it came in was so huge. As you can see, he's in full armour, as you'd expect. Comes with two swords, I'm guessing one for each hand. And actually, it has quite a bit of weight to it. Just picking that up is... You can feel it in your hand, definitely some weight in this thing. The detailing is wonderful as well, like you can see where each armour piece connects. And obviously you've got the traditional knight's visor. Even so much as down to this belt buckle here. There is a lot of detail on this figurine. I know you probably won't be able to see that on the video. So as with all figurines, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some photos of it, fully assembled. And I'll put them in around about now. As you can see, there's been a lot of work put into this figurine. And honestly, I think this is going to take pride of place on my collector's shelf. I can't seem to find the soundtrack CD. I'm guessing it's in the same metal case as the game disc. But, as for my final judgement, I think we should go back to me. So, that was the Dark Souls 2 Collector's Edition, and oh my god, holy crap. This has to be not only the biggest collector's edition I've ever unboxed on this show, but I'd go so far as to say it rivals, if not surpasses, the Blizzard collector's edition, which, as you all know, I'm a huge fan of. First of all, that cloth map. They could have done so much cheaper by doing it on paper, but it's so much more authentic to have it on cloth in an old-timey world kind of thing. The only way it could have been better is if it was a scroll. And the art book, which has some fantastic artwork in it, that is just wonderful. The soundtrack, always included in collector's editions, but totally worth it, because I love the music in Dark Souls. The game comes in a wonderful metal case. It's supposed to be the same case as the Black Armor edition, if anyone's got that. But I know you all want me to talk about it, so I'm going to. That statue. That statue is a full one foot high... It is officially as tall as a Subway sandwich is long. The detail on it is fantastic. It's actually so far the biggest statue I've got. My Ganondorf statue kind of looks a bit dwarfy now. But that is an amazing, amazing addition to a fantastic collector's edition. I can't wait to put that statue on my shelf. I'm going to have to move Ganondorf to the end though, otherwise you might get started getting an inferiority complex. Well, I could arrange doing height order, Ganondorf, Cartman, Warrior. But, you know, I'll figure something out. This is totally worth it, and totally worth the wait. You can tell that Bandai Namco and From Software have really put a lot of care and effort into this. As I said, I think it's probably one of the best collector's editions I've, uh, I've ever owned, and it is certainly the biggest. It takes up a lot of space. <laughs> so, if you still haven't bought Dark Souls 2, buy Dark Souls 2, and if you have the extra cash, it came in about 69 99 for my collector's edition, buy the collector's edition. You will not be disappointed in the slightest. So, as you can tell, I'm very, very excited about this, and I can't wait to start playing the game. So, until I see you again, I've been Silas. That Dark Souls 2 collector's edition kicks some royal ass, and I will see you next time. <laughs>